weeks after the original lawsuit was filed, Liberty University has reached a settlement with 20 people who say the school created an environment that increases the likelihood of sexual assault. WFXR's Rian Lowndes joins us live in studio after reviewing the timeline of all of those allegations against LU. Rian, this has been a major story for months now. Kathleen, this all started back in July when 12 Jane Doe's brought a lawsuit against Liberty University. Former student and now convicted murderer Jesse Matthews was also named in that suit for allegedly assaulting a 15 year old at a summer camp held at LU. That Jane Doe lawsuit claimed that the university created an unsafe environment through its student code of conduct, policy that condones sexual violence and retaliation against victims who reported their experiences. Jane Doe 11 spoke to WFXR back in July. As a survivor of sexual harassment and assault, I felt like I was the one on trial because I thought if I told certain aspects of my story that I would be the one getting in trouble. In October, 10 more people joined that lawsuit and a former employee claimed he was fired because he opposed the school's handling of Title IX cases. Liberty University President Jerry Prevo called the allegations troubling and revealed a message he sent out to staff in July saying discriminating against sexual assault victims was against the Christian faith and promising that if the allegations were true, to make things right. The following month, Liberty's governing board approved a third party investigation into the allegations and then filed a countersuit against that former employee. November is also when two Virginia senators were calling for an investigation into the school's Title IX conduct and yet another lawsuit was filed. This time, a Jane Doe suing the school and a former student. Things were quiet for weeks after that until last month when another former student filed a lawsuit against the school and the Department of Education launched an investigation. Now, all of that brings us to today, when 12 Jane Doe's and eight other people from that original July lawsuit have settled with the school. It's not clear how much was agreed upon. Rian, that's a lot in just the span of about nine months. And now I actually understand that some advocates say Liberty needs to do more in the wake of all of this to protect students. Yes, Kathleen, Liberty has been accused by several more people of having an unsafe campus, including those at Save 71, an organization of Liberty alumni and students who advocate for changes in administration. Now, their co-founder, Dustin Wall, gave the example of blue light boxes, emergency phone booths placed around campus so students can reach emergency services when they feel unsafe. I think the student government at Liberty has requested call boxes every single year at least since 2014. Um, ignored each time the school said no, not necessary. The Lynchburg police even recommended blue lights to the school, says Wall, but it wasn't until those 22 plaintiffs came forward in 2021 that the school promised to install them. Wall says there are still no blue light boxes on campus more than five months later. Kathleen, back to you. Rian, thank you. If you'd like to learn more about the allegations against Liberty and their response to all of this, you can head over to our website, WFXRTV.com, to see all of our coverage.